Dirty floor leader. Mr. President, uh, may we recognize uh, the President Pro Temp before we continue with the uh, prosecution? Senator Estrada, Mr. President. The gentleman from uh, the city of San Juan in the Philippines, the Senator Pro Temp has the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. I would just like to put on record, since uh, the uh, witness, the uh, clerk of, of court, of the Supreme Court has already been uh, discharged. I would just like to put on record my ob observation that the uh, statements of assets and liabilities and net worth of the Chief Justice for years 2002, 2003, 2004, 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2011. The dates of receipt are electro electronically uh, imprinted, while that for the years of 2005, 2006, and 2007, the date of receipt are manually written. I think I find this unusual. And also, in one observation, the receiving clerk for all those manually received uh, sal N seems to be accepted or received by a certain Verna, while most of uh, those electronically received are that are received by a certain Juliet. That is all, um, Mr. President. Noted. Uh, may I just... Uh uh, announced that uh, <coughs> according to the pro prosecution, I I this is correct, no? The, uh, the prosecution does not need the uh, clerk of court of the Supreme Court for tomorrow's hearing. Yes, uh, Your Honor, so not for can, tomorrow. We can dis dispense our presence uh, until the prosecution requests for her return to this uh, court. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, the clerk of court of the Supreme Court may now uh, be allowed to go home. Mr. Senate President, may we request uh, that Attorney uh, Jose Justiniano be recognized to conduct the direct examination for the prosecution. Uh, Attorney Justiniano is, uh, is uh, recognized. Your Honor, please. Your Honor, please. Yes, uh, maybe, maybe we maybe make a one minute uh, manifestation, Your Honor. We we were trying to determine from the rules of this impeachment court whether counsel is allowed to talk to the wit to their witness while the witness is on the stand. Because in so far as ju uh, uh, judges of ordinary courts and general jurisdiction are concerned, that is prohibited. May we, may, we, may we be informed, Your Honor, whether the rules of this impeachment court allows, let's say in my case, I'm presenting a witness, can I talk to him or to her while she is on the witness stand, Your Honor? No, I, I, I think uh, we have to follow the uh, formal procedure where uh, the witness, is sta the witness uh, <coughs> sits on the witness stand and the uh, lawyer asking the question will... Uh, Stay where they are. The, there was no coaching. In short, he, he, he or she cannot be talked to, Your Honor. Yes. I made that inquiry, Your Honor, because I noticed that while the, uh, their witness, the clerk, was on the stand, Your Honor, the Honorable Chairman of the Justice Committee of the Republic of the House of Representatives had been talking to her. Whatever, their to whatever the subject of their conversation is, it gives, it gives rise to a lot of suspicion, Your Honor. Well, uh, we will, we will uh, request the uh, councils to refrain from, uh, 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 if possible, with, from yeah. contact with their witnesses unless they ask permission from the chair. Right. Yes, thank, you, thank you, Your Honor, since and I apologize to the Honorable Chairman of the Justice. Yeah, since my name was uh, mentioned, uh, Mr. President, may I also uh, say something? Proceed. 
Yeah, uh, so there was uh, an observation made by uh, Council for Defense that uh, the, uh, this representation uh, approached the witness during a break. And I just want to put on record, uh, Mr. Senate President, that uh, it was after the release of, uh, of Sal N. And before, it was before the, I think before the information uh, that we received that the Supreme Court has authorized. I told her, sinabi ko po, na ang sinabi ko lang sa kanya, okay lang po ba kayo? So yun lang sinabi ko sa kanya, okay po ba kayo? Uh, human, human nature yun na uh, Mr. Senate President. Eh. Secondly, I just also want to, I also have my own observation that while session is uh, ongoing, two or three members from the defense approach our witness, Ms. Vidal, and talk to Ms. Vidal. I just want to put that on record, Mr. Senate President. Uh, let, let those uh, remarks be recorded that uh, the, the presiding officer would like to uh, request the lawyers to uh, avoid any signs of uh, uh, extraordinary contact with the witness so that there will not there will, there will not arise any suspicion of any coaching. So, uh, let's proceed. Uh, Attorney Hustiniano, please uh, proceed with your witness. With the permission of this Honorable Court, we are calling our next witness, Mr. Marianito Dimandal. And uh, what's the purpose of uh, presenting this witness? Your Honor, we are offering the testimony of this witness to show that he is a record custodian uh, in Malacanan in the office of the president that he will identify the salen of uh, Chief Justice Renato Corona from 1992 up to 2002 and that these uh, copies are uh, authentic reproduction of the original. What, what is the relevance of this uh, uh, proposed uh, document uh, uh, evidence uh, yes your honor sal, sal n uh, uh, by Sec uh, Ch chief justice corona when he was not yet the chief justice yes your honor for uh, grounds stated in the constitution when he already sat as a justice and he could not be impeached for uh, any act that he did before he joined the court. Yes, Your Honor. Well, so we kindly explain to us yes, the Your relevance Honor. of this uh, document. May I proceed now, Your Honor? We have <coughs> alleged that just Chief Justice Corona accumulated ill-gotten wealth. And the salon of Chief Justice Corona from 1992 up to 2002 up to the present will show the trend in his network. Whether it decreases, it remains constant, or it increases. In other words, you are going to use this as a, as starting a, point, Your Honor. As a matter of comparison? Yes, Your Honor. As a starting point, Your Honor. Your Honor. I'm sorry. Well, I, I leave it to counsel for the defense. So Your Honor, please. Yes. There is no definite and specific allegation of the alleged violation of the anti grab law with respect to the unjust enrichment in public office, Your Honor. In fact, during the early hours of our uh, discussion, Your Honor, we were raising the validity of the allegations contained in so far as that portion is concerned. It merely said purported, allegedly, and so on, and we feel that they are not in compliance with the rule of procedure, rules of pleading enshrined under our, our rules of evidence, Your Honor, and rules of procedure. If that is so, then any and all evidence that will be presented in order to support their stand will be material, impertinent, irrelevant, and non-admissible, Your Honor. And it will be a waste of time, Your Honor. They are not prosecuting, they are not prosecuting Chief Justice Corona for a accumulating uh, illegally acquired wealth, Your Honor. The, their complaint is very specific on the point, Your Honor. The, uh, the allegations 
uh, under Article 2, it says you're uh, a failure to disclose. Right. The, that is the ultimate fact uh, alleged. Right. Then also, only a reported, reported that some of the properties of the respondent are not included. Uh, I, I, have, I, will not, I will not pass judgment on this, whether it is an ultimate fact. No. Okay. And the third is suspected and accused, uh, suspect this likewise suspected and accused of having account accumulated ill-gotten wealth, acquiring assets of high values, and keeping bank accounts with huge deposits. This is the nature of the uh, allegations in uh, paragraph 2.4 paragraph 2.4 article 2